for their second straight victory against the Washington Nationals, widening the division lead to a great stiff arm seven and a half games. Uh, the pitching matchup tonight couldn't be better for us. Mama Mike Soroka going for his 11th win versus old friend now enemy Anibal Sanchez. For our offense, the key is just to stay back. Don't get too big on your swings because Anibal Sanchez is that blow hitting speed type of pitcher. He doesn't uh, throw back to back anything, mixes his sequences very well, and look for that butterfly. The eighth is pitch and just when you get something relatively hard, hopefully it's in the zone and you can do something with it. Make him get the ball up and uh, we should have fun. And off that momentum from Josh Donaldson's walk off last night, it feel really good. Uh, so he's gonna be my pick to click. Two for four, two walks. A double and a homer. Just uh, supplanting himself as maybe the second half MVP for this Braves offense. But um, the keys for Mike Soroka are get through the first three innings relatively unscathed, quick, easy results, and that ground ball. Because with the Nationals lineup, they're not going to chase, they're not going to nibble. So it might, it might be one of those nights where he just wants those quick outs and not worry about the strikeout too much, even though he had nine, his career high nine strikeouts against San Diego, who's more of a free swinging lineup. But those first three innings get through him relatively unscathed and should be a very good night. And hopefully he can save the bullpen a little bit. Seven innings, no earned, five Ks, uh, three hits. I'll go with that uh, for Mike and just kind of have fun, keep the momentum from last night's walk-off, and uh, bury the Nationals even deeper. And obviously, uh, the quicker you can get to their bullpen, the better. As always, go Braves. Tune in for the post-game report.